It's Sean on Fun Kids. That was a big tune. And we have got a very, very special guest with us. The star of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is Dan Fogler. Hey! How's the real going, stars buddy? are the beasts. The real stars in the movie are the beasts, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> which there are which there are many, many lovely magical ones all knocking about. Yes. Uh, Dan, yes. tell us a little bit about Jacob. Oh, Jacob. Jacob is um, a baker. He is a soldier back from the war, World War One. He's coming to New York, and all he wants to do, he's coming back home, and all he wants to do is open up a bakery and settle down, and then he gets mixed up with these witches and wizards. See, and, that's it. Um, Got all those big plans of a nice, normal, easy life, and then you just bump in, bump into a couple of wizards. I know, and then they change my life, you know, uh, and then I realize maybe there's more to life than just baking. There's actually um, loads of magical, amazing creatures knocking about as well. Yes, right so, under our noses. So when, when did you find out that you'd get the nod to play Jacob? Right, I found out at uh, Comic-Con 2015, that's when I found out, and in San, in San Diego. Were you doing a signing, or were you just sort of, you know, just milling about? I wish. <laughs> I wish I was doing a signing. I wish I, the only reason I was there was uh, I, I had my... Um, I have this uh, comic book that I I, I'm, I make comic books and graphic novels and and I have this book called the uh, Brooklyn Gladiator. Nice. So here we are with that, and here there I was at San Diego, with uh, you know about to sell my comic book with my boxes of comics, just like schlepping them like the Hunchback of Notre Dame <laughs> through cosplayers, and then I got this call, and um, my manager said hey where are you right now I was like I'm at Comic Con and she said well Comic Con's gonna be a lot different next year no <laughs> way I like that yeah, they delivered it like it was actually a Hollywood film in itself yes um, and then I started weeping and handing out free comic books to everyone good I mean so, I, wanna, yes. I just want to see a film of that I just want to see that scene played out in cinema just you sort of throwing <laughs> yeah. throwing comics around scattering them and skipping <laughs> through the through the cosplay yeah. hordes Exactly. So how how much into, how much of the Harry Potter the Harry Potter universe did you know about before um, before Fantastic Beasts? I uh, yeah, I mean it's hard to miss it. I um, I uh, was a f- I saw the first like five movies, uh, mm-hmm. six movies, and then um, and then you know life happened, and uh, I always wanted to get around to watching the whole thing, and then. Uh, and then I, when I got cast, I was like, oh, I'm a muggle, I'm a nomad, so maybe I shouldn't know everything going into this. So I, I, I postponed um, my little Harry Potter marathon. And then when I shot, and when I finished shooting the movie, I went back and I, I watched all of them. I, I mean, because I mean, one, one, one of like the, the greatest parts of the film is just watching your reactions to the magical stuff happening around you. Uh, yes, I agree. I mean, I'm, I'm the eyes of the audience. Um, and then, like, because one of the one of the one of the key scenes, like where where we see that happen, is when you go and visit Newt's menagerie and see all of the the crazy animals. Did you do you have a particular favorite magical magical animal? Yeah, um, I mean, the Thunderbird is incredibly impressive. Uh, when you see that, it's like a you know, it's just this massive, weather controlling, giant, many winged eagle, you know, and. Uh, I mean, I love the Niffler, man. He Everyone is loves the Niffler. It's so good, so isn't it? So funny. He got some of the biggest laughs, man. I mean, it's just hysterical and cute. I think everyone's going to have one in their stocking for Christmas. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm certainly up. Yeah. And if you, if, you had to, if you had to chuck a couple of magical animals, maybe just from the brain of, of, of Dan Fogler, if you were going to put pop some extra ones in there from your own brain, which ones, which ones would you go for? Right, of course. Um... I, one of my favorite magical creatures that I've created mm-hmm. is the magical floating winged mini uh, donkey. Nice. Um, yes. And uh, it, <laughs> you can keep it in your pocket. And, uh, and it actually smells really nice, oddly enough. It's a nice smelling magical fairy butterfly winged donkey. A lovely perfumed and- mini donkey. Nice. <laughs> yes Dan it's been an absolute pleasure to chat to you this morning thanks brother you too cheers buddy all the best mate